Hello and welcome to top 10 features of Pathwave ADS 2021. In this video series, we are looking at all the great new enhancements done in the latest ADS release. This video is on using VTB for modulated signal analysis. The concept of VTB is pretty simple. We would like to utilize the measurement grid IP within our ADS circuit design environment or inside Cadence Virtuoso environment using our Golden Gate simulator. With VTB, you get access to wide range of modulating signals for various standards. And if you want to do your own customized VTB, and if you have a system view license, you can use any of these libraries offered inside system view and come up with your own custom VTB to be used inside ADS or Virtuoso design environment. So let's quickly see a demo of how easy it is to use VTB inside ADS. So here in the ADS environment, let's go ahead and create a new schematic. And on this schematic, once I install the VTB package, which is an add-on installation to ADS, and if you go to the ADS uh, you know, website and look for virtual test bench, you can download the suitable test bench for Windows or Linux and install it on top of your regular ADS installation. Once you do that, you get access to a new library palette here called Simulation VTB. And once you go in there, you have a VTB generator and you can pick the modulation standard you would like to work with. So right now I will select 5G and I would like to configure a downlink transmitter source. By selecting that option, you can see a black box of VTB and which I can place on the schematic. Double click on this VTB and I can configure the signal uh, inputs and the modulation characteristics. So to start with, I will go ahead and set 0 dBm power, which I would like to feed to my DUT. And you can select any of the impairments which you may want to produce. Pick the bandwidth of the 5G signal which you would like to use. And in this case, I will go ahead with 10 megahertz Choose the right center frequency as required by your circuit. Choose the numerology and rest of the option. Now, if you already know which test model you want to check your design against, you can select this option of use test model and pick the right test model here. Now, this test model has all the signal specific configuration as provided in the, in the documentation on a standard website. So here I'm referring to a 5G NRFR1 stand, you know, testing document. And here you can see various test model TM1.1, what it is used for, what's the specific configuration. Similarly, you have another test model and so on. So all these parameters, combinations, and the required configuration is already built into our VTB. So this is so great for circuit designers because a lot of times they may not have all this information. By selecting the drop down box here makes your job much, much simpler. In the VTB summary, you can query the you know, uh, details about VTB. It shows you which standard um, you know, this test bench will be using, what revision of the standard it would be referring to. Now for simulation, we can also insert an envelope controller by clicking on this icon, picking the right frequency, which in my case is two gigahertz, we click OK and now you have an envelope controller all automatically inserted. You don't need to do any setting in envelope controller because everything will be controlled by this VTB. Now we are ready to insert our DUT or the design which we will want to test along with this VTB. So I can drag and drop my schematic circuit here and this is a transistor level MMIC circuit which we have also used in few of the previous videos. So it'll make input and output connection in terms of source and sync. Ground the negative pin because this is a single ended amplifier which we are talking about here. Right, so once this setting is done, now just to make sure the simulation runs in reasonable time, I'm going to enable fast co-simulation because here we are just looking at the, at the method which we have to use to use VTB. And that's it. Now your 5G signal will be generated with the required test model and the characteristics you specified. This generated signal will go through this amplifier and then you will have the output, which will go back to this VTB to perform the required measurements as configured within the VTB. 
Now, if you are creating your own customized VTB, all these things will be under your control and you can configure each and every portion of your design, what you want to generate as well as what you want to measure. Once the simulation finishes, you can also see data display automatically gets popped up and you have to spend absolutely no effort in even setting up the data display and manually insert the plot. The only thing you need to do is massage the data display just based on your preference. For example, the CCDF, I would like to double click and put the Y axis to be unlocked because that makes more sense. And here you can see the blue is input CCDF and the red is coming out of this amplifier. Similarly, the spectrums can be plotted in DBM. The tables can be arranged. Here, I have already done so for one of the other simulation I did with a 50 megahertz of 5G bandwidth. You can see my CCDF input and output, which shows the compression that amplifier is causing. In the spectrum, you can see the input, which is blue, and the red, which is coming out of this amplifier, as well as the time domain waveform. And here you can notice we have simulated 10 milliseconds, which is one frame of 5G signal. And the table below, I do have ACLR information at the input of the amplifier, as well as at the output at one bandwidth offset and two bandwidth offset. Similarly, you also have all kind of EVM measurements here in DB. If you want to see EVM measurements in percentage, that's also pretty simple because on the test bench, you can just select the EVM results to be DB, or if you set it to no, then it will report it in percentage. So depending upon your preference, you can select that option. Also, we have timing and synchronization error here which is showing you the symbol clock error, the frequency error, and the peak EVM, and the, and the EVM of the regular signal. So all those measurements are also plotted here. So by doing the simple uh, test, you have all the figure of merits at your fingertip without spending any manual time in setting up all these kind of measurements. So that's all for this video. Hope you got a quick start guide on how to start using VTB for your work. Thanks for watching this video and wish you all the best for your design work. Thanks for watching.